Hey, happy Sukkot. So here's the trippy thing. God commands us to be happy on Sukkot. But it's a little bizarre. Like, I command you to be happy. And like, what if you're having a hard day in the Sukkot? Like, what do you do? You know? And like, also like, for a lot of people, learning the state of happiness or the art of happiness is a lifelong journey. As it was with me. So this is something I really wanted to hack and figure out how to do. So a few years ago, I went on a plant medicine retreat and whoa, I was signed up for two journeys. And the first one was like living hell on earth. And it was so bad that I didn't want to do the second journey, but I had paid a lot of money and I was already there. I had traveled for it. So I was like, okay, I got to figure out how I'm going to make it through this journey. Because initially I was a lot in my mind, the freight train in my brain, all these thoughts, thinking, thinking, thinking. And the medicine woman helped me realize that when we're thinking in the past, we have resentment or regret. And when we're thinking in the future, we have worry or anxiety. So she said, try just really focusing on your breath. Try really focusing on getting present. So I said, dude, I have nothing to lose because I can't have a journey like the last one. That's not an option. So she helped me and we came with a three word mantra. And that was presence, gratitude, joy. So what I really learned is that you can't necessarily always just jump to happiness or jump to joy, that there's a gateway. And the gateway to happiness and joy is gratitude. But sometimes you can't always jump to gratitude. So first, it's through presence, through our breath. So if you're in your sukkah and you really want to serve God and God says, be happy, here's a hack that I invite you to try. So first, how to get present. You just follow your breath, right? So for me, that just looks like four breaths in, four breaths out. And I count so that I have something to sort of stay focused on. So it's just... And I do that long enough that I really tune into the presence. And once I'm in the more of the present moment, then sort of gratitude kind of naturally flows. But if it doesn't, then you practice it, right? So you can be present you can be grat grateful for the very breath, for your lungs, for where you're sitting, for the food that you ate that day, for your eyes, for your vision, for... Sometimes I go head to toe, and usually by the end of the time that I get to my toe, sometimes I do all the things on the outside and all the things on the inside of my body, like each organ and digestive system and sinew and like your ankle tendons. I don't even know if we have ankle tendons, but usually by the time I really do this avoda, this work, then I really can have access and arrive at joy. So, you know, it's like sometimes the simplest things can feel the most difficult. And this life hack really, really worked for me. And I continue to practice it years later. And because it's a service of God to be happy on Sukkot, so it's good to figure out how to do this service. So I invite you to try it. Grat um, presence, gratitude, joy. Presence, gratitude, joy. So I really bless you that it works for you and uh, happy Sukkot. Yay. Thank you so much for tuning in with me.